going on, guys? So I am currently in Los Angeles. I went to the AFI Film Festival, and tonight I saw Jackie with Natalie Portman. And I'm sorry for the very poor video and audio quality. I was not able to take my camera or microphone on the plane with me. This might actually be the only review I do at the festival in this format. I just know that as soon as I get home, I'm going to have to review Fantastic Beasts and where to find them, as well as a slew of other films I'm seeing at the festival. And I don't want to rush those videos, and I don't want to rush this video. I want to give the best reviews that I can. But in doing some while I'm here, despite not having my normal video and audio equipment, that'll give me a chance to do longer reviews of some of the other films I'm seeing and be able to focus on them a little bit more. I've seen Moonlight so far. I'm seeing La La Land tomorrow and Split. And tonight I saw Jackie, which is the story of Jackie Kennedy as portrayed by Natalie Portman. She has been recently widowed. This takes place directly after her husband, John F. Kennedy, was assassinated in the car as she sat next to him. And it's the story of how she dealt with that immediately. What she went through, how she worked through it in her mind, her struggle with faith, the difficulty she faced in trying to figure out if she wanted to stay in politics, how she wanted to honor her husband's legacy, whether or not there should be a very public funeral or if it should be more private because a lot of people were afraid of more assassinations, more gunfire, more attempts at people's lives. And so there were a lot of emotions going through people's minds at the time. And this movie captures that very well. And easily the best part of Jackie for me personally was the acting. This is probably the best performance I've seen from Natalie Portman since Black Swan. I think she fully inhabits this character. She was excellent in this role. She gave a very hardened sense of humanity that I've never really seen from her before. She's very good at acting vulnerable. Even in Black Swan, which I still consider her best performance, she is very vulnerable in that movie. In this film, she's like a brick wall. She feels impenetrable. And that was apparent in a lot of scenes, but there were also some scenes where her character opened up ever so slightly and you were able to peer into her psyche a little bit and understand what was going on. And most of those scenes are with John Hurt, who portrays a reverend that she goes to for advice. And those were some of my favorite scenes in the movie because they were the most emotionally open scenes because she was away from people. Because for most of the movie, she's just surrounded by her various political advisors. The scenes with John Hurt, where she was able to express her feelings a little more openly, I found those to be the most compelling in the movie. Peter Sarsgaard is usually always good in movies, although he does have a habit of kind of disappearing into the background in films. And he's pretty good as Bobby Kennedy in this movie, but you're not gonna walk away going, man, Peter Sarsgaard, he really stole the show in this one. The focus here is definitely on Natalie Portman, but she is later interviewed by a reporter played by Billy Crudup. Crudup? Crudup? I always mess up his last name. I thought he was awesome in the movie. This is probably the best movie about Jackie Kennedy and how she dealt with the days after that assassination that we're ever going to see. That being said, I do have issues with this movie, and while clearly the direction in regards to working with actors was on point, because every actor is just in the moment perfectly in this movie. The performances and the various moments and scenes that are captured by the director are so well done and you genuinely do feel like you're peering through the looking glass into a time period. The 60s are captured extremely well. It genuinely feels like I am looking at the 60s and they did a great job of recreating various news archive footage to make it feel like we were watching the original tapes of certain things. That being said, visually, this isn't really a very pretty movie to look at. Despite Natalie Portman's beauty, most of the shots are framed kind of like what I've done right now with my webcam, just perfectly centered. And your eye doesn't move a lot. He doesn't do too much with the left and right side of the frames. It's a very visually bland film in regards to what he does with the camera. It feels almost documentarian-esque, which for some people, they're going to love. They're going to love that you don't necessarily notice the direction. I like when a director shows us things in a way we've never seen them before. And this film doesn't feel that way. It's a visually drab movie. There isn't much going on with color. It is a very depressing looking movie, which fits its story because these are characters inhabiting a very depressing time of their lives. But still, I would have liked it to be more visually interesting and less of just everything perfectly centered all the time. In the end, I think people are going to watch Jackie for the performances, especially Natalie Portman, who might be nominated for an Oscar. I think she is excellent in this role. But in the long run, I'm not seeing this having 
getting very good replay value. I'll certainly never watch Jackie again. As I said, it's probably the best film that could be made about this story. So great performances, a compelling story. The scenes with John Hurt in which her character really emotionally opened herself, those were, I think, the best in the movie. But for me personally, I would have liked to have seen a little more style in the direction. But for some people, that might actually be a plus that this is more documentarian-esque. I'm gonna give Jackie a B. So guys, while I'm here at the AFI Fest, I hope you guys are having a good time. I'm going to be seeing a lot more movies, as I said. I'm going to have reviews for a lot of them as soon as I get home. This will probably be one of only a couple, if not the only, very low-quality video you're going to get. Again, I apologize for that. But as always, guys, you are the best. Thank you so much for watching. And if you like this, you can click right here and get stuckmanized.